Hi, I'm Alyssa Floyd with Outreach and International Affairs. Sometimes, as part of their learning, Virginia Tech students are making positive contributions outside of the university. That is exactly what happened at a small hospital in Low Moor, Virginia. Telling the story is Danielle Morgan. On an Engagement Academy panel for university leaders, she described the problem that engineering seniors helped solve. One of our biggest barriers was our equipment room. Just you couldn't get anything out, you couldn't get anything in. It was increasing time between surgical cases, increasing staff and physician frustration, and increasing patient wait time. Led by Professor Eileen Van Aken, a group of industrial and systems engineering students in a design capstone course took on the job. I brought them into that equipment room and I said, look, this is our barriers. This is what we need you to do. So they came in and they saw, well, you've got a problem. <laughs> you've got a big problem. So. Uh, it really lacked any kind of system of organization, so things were just put back in haphazardly and it was difficult for people to find what they needed, so it was causing frustration by the nurses in the OR and it also was actually causing some time delays in trying to find certain things that were needed. Um, and so when the team worked on was trying to create a better system of organization for equipment and supplies and materials and they actually expanded their scope to everything in the OR except for the surgical rooms. Um, so it was more than just looking at the equipment and supplies room that uh, Lewis Gale initially identified for us. So they applied what's called the 5S method which is a lean production tool um, intended to create a system of organization and um, visual management work practices with labeling and signage and making everything basically everything has a place and everything in its place. Place. Uh, and so that's what they implemented working with a team from the Lewis Scale operating room. We cleaned out approximately three tons of equipment, metal, that was just metal, disposed of it, um, did value stream mapping, diagrams, lined out the equipment, and this was almost six months ago, and let me tell you, it's still that way. We've been doing research on these kinds of cases where students, as part of their academic learning and professional development as students involves doing some of their work and practicing their skills in a community setting. And we know from the research on the impacts of that on students and on the community that it is a very enlivening and enriching experience for both because the students are eager to see what they learn in the classroom in application. They get very frustrated if we just keep them in the chairs thinking about it in the abstract. They like to really put it into application. It's, it's been in my small town such a success story. I shared it with the board of directors, the directors within my hospital, my staff, and the improvements we've seen. We've seen a decrease in turnaround time. It's, decrease in time between cases. Um, our physician satisfaction survey just came in last week for surgical services and we improved in every aspect of the survey. We've improved in staff satisfaction and it's just been a great success story. It's often six months later you go back in, it's like when you clean your garage, six months later it's all a mess again and so it's a really tricky thing to be able to make the improvements but also sustain them over time and they have been able to do that so it's been very successful. For more video stories about Virginia Tech students working in the community, go to www.outreach.vt.edu and click on the R videos link.